Yo, what up, world? Uh, been was on YouTube the other day, and then uh, just saw some other kids and other ball players uh, doing videos of what's in my baseball bag, and I figured that'd be something uh, pretty easy for me to do since I play baseball year-round. So here we go. In this Louisville bag, I have it's pretty much my glove bag right now. Um, but I guess we'll start at the front compartment. It's one of those bags that has wheels at the bottom so you can roll it around. And I got my helmet, which is a Rawlings Cool Flow Pro um, double ear flap. This is the one that, the the type of helmet that they used in the majors for the past couple years, except this year, uh, when they implemented the uh, S100 Pro Comp. Um, I can't find that anywhere right now, but I actually just ordered the new S100, which is in the mail. But yeah, so this is the one I use in my games. The only thing I didn't like about these helmets was that they started cracking near the ear. But yeah, I had to buy a new one because it's starting to fall apart on me. So, got one of those pro hitters that if you watch the majors, they there's a, a bunch of guys, if you look at their top hand, um, they'll have like a little thumb thing, It'll either be white, red, or blue. That's that. Uh, got, New Evil Shield uh, batting gloves. I got them for the sole purpose that I kept getting hit in the hand while I was getting hit by pitch. Very unlucky, but I've also been fairly lucky that they've always just grazed my hand instead of like actually hit and broken anything. But with the Evo Shield, they always have pectin black armor things. If you guys have ever known or felt an Evo Shield, I don't want to take it out because it's too much hassle. Uh, when I go to the batting cage, I wear these just under armor, all white. So let's get to the good stuff. This is my baby, this is my outfielder's glove. It's a custom Mizuno, and then my name inscribed on it, if you could see. Uh, and then I just wrap it up, just cause like I said, this is my, my game day glove that if ever I play outfield. First baseman's mitt, my pitcher infielder glove that I use all the time now. Uh, it's a Rawlings uh, RTD 202. It's 11 and a half inches. Looks pretty small, but has that two piece webbing for pitchers and infielders. This is my very first glove that I got. Uh, it's a Rawlings ASDJ21, so it's a Derek Jeter model um, from way back when. But yeah, this is pretty old, it's pretty beaten up, and uh, laces and everything are starting to fall apart. And start, you know, gotta probably re relace it someday. That's my backup in Gilder's glove. And then I got two more backup gloves that are about one is 12 and a half, the other one is 12, so either pitching or uh, outfield. Then my cleats that I wear, white, air show. I think these are 2011 models, so you have these little inserts that put in, you know, custom color or whatever. And here, my side pocket, uh, got one of those base diggers. Sunscreen, uh, relacing tool. Got a live wire skills bamboo training bat. It's my brand new uh, Louisville Slugger TPX Omaha. I think this is 2012 edition BB Core. Uh, so this is the one I'm gonna be using for the next couple of games, years, whatever, because you know BB Core is the new standard. The Louisville TPX uh, XO that I used in high school. So this is BSR, so you can't use this anymore. But I like using it in the batting cage because it's still pretty good. And then this is my wood bat with the name on it. You can see it's from X Bat and. Yeah, so I use this during games for the most part if I'm not using the, the metal bats. I would totally recommend if you are looking for a bat that you start swinging with wood at some point. Onto my catcher's gear now. So I've got a traditional mask, game signs. The other alternate is to either paint your nails white out or put tape on them, but uh, this is like an official thing. Helmet, and then I got the hockey style mask for from All Star. Uh, so my catcher's glove. Mark of the Pro model, it's the uh, Pro Taper model, so if you have smaller, if you're like me and you have smaller hands, uh, this is the model that they've built for that, uh, for, for catchers with smaller hands. Um, I like it a lot, uh, again, I, I have it now because my other one was chewed up, I actually still have it. Um, and then little Evo Shield, yeah, so this is really good because it, it protects, um, Pretty much, you know, your whole thumb right here. So if you didn't get any bad balls, you know, thrown at you or if you get crossed up, it, it protects you. I, I like it a lot. Palm guard, 
uh, for extra protection. I've always used Palm Guard, but I know All Star has. I know there's a bunch of other companies that have other gloves that, that have a lot of padding on here to, to help with catching. Chest protector by All Star, and shin guards by All Star as well. On occasion, I will wear the Evo Shield wrist guard, either for batting or for catching. Uh, but I don't like it because it gets kind of tight sometimes. So, uh, and then my last bag is my Nike bag. This is the bag I used for I used for softball. Um, I, I play slow pitch softball because uh, it's hard to find adult leagues that play during the week. Batting gloves, Nike, uh, Diamond Elites. The glove I have. Actually, this is like my all Nike stuff, but I've got a Nike Diamond Elite um, outfielder's glove for baseball. So I guess you could say this is my backup outfielder's glove, but this is the one I use for softball, um, just because it'll have a it has a bigger pocket than a baseball because I'm always using softball. So that's that. And then I've got my Nike ID custom Nikes. Um, they say 31 on the tongue, so I customized them to be black and white. It says Hakuna Matata. That's pretty much it. Um, I'll put up separate videos of cleats, gloves, catcher's gear, and bats. So if you guys want to check those out. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, peace.